Guys, we've made it. Today is day one of my live cohort-based workshop called Crater Autonomy. And I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along for the journey and give you a behind the scenes look of me setting up my live stream setup, which does not look set up at all right now. And as well for you guys just to join in on this monumental day for me. Right now it's a little bit past three, which means I have less than five hours to get everything set up here for the live stream, go over my notes one last time, and then it's showtime. <laughs> Some of you guys are probably wondering what in the world is Creator Autonomy? And basically, it's my first ever live cohort-based workshop, which means it's a live workshop with a group of people that I teach and then we have a lot of interaction together and have Q&A. And it's really exciting because in the past I've created courses, but the downside of courses is, is that you spend a whole bunch of time uh, creating the content, filming it, editing it, and then you release it into the world, and then it's stuck that way. You can't make changes to it anymore. Whereas with this live cohort, I can do it one time, uh, learn along the way from the feedback and the questions that I get from my students, and then I can readjust and make it even better. And I hope that after one year of doing this live cohort-based workshop, it's gonna be the best ever workshop out there on how to create a powerful personal brand. That's what it's about. I'm gonna be teaching people essentially what I'm doing right now, content creation and how to build a personal brand. So for this first round, we've got 10 students from seven different countries, which is really exciting, a really international crowd. And I'm really excited because finally, I feel like I'm gonna actually be able to interact and go deeper with the people who are part of my community because as much as I love creating content on my YouTube channel for you guys, it's still quite surface level in the interaction between me and you guys is limited. Whereas with a live cohort, we're gonna spending three hours each week for three weeks, which is a lot of time for us to interact and talk and get to know each other. And as well, we have our own Discord community where we're gonna be you know, helping each other out, share content, encourage each other, which is just really exciting. It's crazy to think that this is finally happening because I've literally been talking about doing a workshop like this for probably two years, but in my mind, it had just gotten so big and overwhelming that I just kept pushing it off. That is until one day my friend encouraged me, why don't you just take the first step? And that was just to buy a domain name creatorautonomy.com and then from there the ball just started rolling and what started in November to now being January 11th, two and a half months later, uh, the first ever cohort's happening. It's crazy to see just how fast the ball starts rolling when you decide to take your first step. One of my favorite things about this whole journey so far has been the fact that I just feel so alive. Now don't get me wrong, I'm actually really tired right now because on top of the regular content that I've tried to keep up with, I've been building Creator Autonomy, which has meant that there's been a lot of early mornings waking up and a lot of late evenings to get everything done. So it's actually been a really hard last few months, but I feel like whenever you're pursuing your dreams, you just feel so alive and it makes it all worth it. As well, this has just been a huge season of learning because I feel like whenever you step into something new, there's just so many things you don't know or have never done before and you just have to learn. For example, live streaming. I've never live streamed before. That's been a huge learning curve for me to figure out all the different steps on how to do a live stream. As well, creating presentations. I am now doing you know three weeks of three hour discussion teachings and I wanna have a really nice presentation so I've had to do that. And as well, just learning how to launch and market a course, it's been a huge learning curve, but it's awesome because now that I've done it, I've actually learned so much and it's gonna be so helpful in the future. So if you're ever getting a little bit bored or things are feeling a little bit stale, I would highly recommend trying something new because it's gonna be a learning curve. You're gonna learn a lot of new things, make a lot of mistakes along the way, but in the end, it's gonna make you a lot more excited and you're gonna learn a lot more new things, which is always a good sign because growing always means you're going forwards. Okay, so onto my live stream setup. I have no clue, is this the best way of doing it? This is the way that I figured out for myself. So in no way is this like a follow me, but if you're interested in seeing my live stream setup, this is what it is. So here's the live stream setup in all its glory. We first got the Shure M7V mic, which is really nice because you could just hook it up straight with a USB-C cord to your laptop. 
Then we got the ZV-1 Mark II, my Aperture 300X with the light dome. Then I've got my main studio display. And the way I've basically organized my screen here is that here on the left, I've got my Canva presenter where I have a presentation. I can see notes and everything like that. What the audience is seeing is the presentation right there. I have here OBS. OBS is pretty interesting. You can actually do a lot of cool things in here. Uh, basically with my main angle like this, I've actually added my own LUT to it to get my own look. And as well for the slideshow, I was able to then add a little avatar head circle like there. So you see my head in the bottom left corner during the presentation. Then I'm gonna broadcast from OBS to Zoom and I'm just gonna have a Zoom meeting with my students. Oh yeah, quick tip. If you're gonna do a long call, you probably should get Zoom Pro. <laughs> I'm ashamed to admit this, but I've been doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one mentoring calls and I don't have Zoom Pro account, which means that after 40 minutes, the phone call ends and I don't have to always tell the mentoree to be like, hey, I'm gonna send you a new link for the second call. So I'm trying to fight my cheap ways and I got Zoom Pro for the Create autonomy. There's probably a million other options of how to stream and do all that stuff and what kind of gear to use, but this is what I had currently and I thought this would be easiest to use for my first ever live cohort. So yeah, this is my live stream setup. Curious to know what you guys are using for live stream because I'm all ears because this is such a new world for me and I definitely wanna get better at doing live streams. Okay, it's time to put the camera down. I gotta do a run through and do this presentation at least one time before I do it live for all the students. <laughs> It's important to take a bathroom break because I won't get another break for another three hours. Create autonomy, day one, here we go. Everything's ready to go. I uh, added some pillows for sound barrier and actually put the light on this side because I want it to be opposite of where the camera is to get that nice, nice shadow on my face. Check that out. I'm talking towards the screen right there. I think that looks pretty dang good if you ask me. Impressive what you can get done with the ZV-1 Mark II, which is a really affordable camera and with some nice lighting. It's all about lighting. All right, wish me luck, guys. We're starting. There's the guys, 10 guys from all over the world, seven countries. Woo, woo, woo. Welcome, guys. Yeah.